Psalm 106, verse 1 and verse 2. Psalm 106, reading from verse 1 to 2. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can so forth? All is praise. We are here today to celebrate his mighty acts. The miracles and signs and wonders that Almighty God performs in the life of his own people, things that only God can do. We are here today to celebrate the Almighty God. But the question is featured here. And the question is this Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can so forth all his praise? In other words, we can only praise him for what we know. And from what we have been experiencing, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of things that Almighty God does that we don't even know. Miracles that he performs that are not feasible when we sleep, when we are unconscious, when we were far away from somewhere, what he doing right there on our behalf. This is God that we serve. We are here today to celebrate this God. Let's start by thanking him today. We are going to sing that song, I know my Redeemer liveth. And as we praise him, as we magnify him, as we glorify him, and we recognize, we recognize his mighty works, I'm trusting the almighty God, he will bless us more. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Everybody sing. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth, mighty work and miracle he performs. I know my Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore. Hallelujah. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore. In America, my Redeemer lived. In Australia, my Redeemer lived. United Kingdom, my Redeemer lived. He lived in Canada. Hallelujah. Oh, I know my Redeemer lived. I know my Redeemer lived. I know my Redeemer lived. He lived forevermore. In Africa, my Redeemer liveth. In Asia, my Redeemer liveth. In Australia, my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. All over the world, no, my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know, I know, I know, I know. He liveth forevermore. Let you go ahead. And worship the only one who lives forever. His miracles, his signs, his wonders, that they are all the proof that this God is alive. He speaks, he acts, he performs miracles, signs, and wonders. He, the Almighty God, bless his holy name for your life. 
Bless him for your family. Bless him for your destiny. Bless him for making himself known in the affairs of your life, for bringing you to, unto himself, for manifesting his will, his love in your lives. Go ahead and bless him. Bless him right now for the nation where you are. Bless him, bless him for your nation. Bless him for your state. Bless him for your county. Bless him for your country. Bless him for your continent. Just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. He's alive forevermore. Bless the name of the Lord for his mighty works, for his miracles, for his signs, for his wonders. He don't know what who does, what no man can do. The almighty God himself. Go ahead and bless him. Magnify his holy name. Magnify his mighty, mighty ends, his miracles. Magnify him, magnify him. Thank you, Father God, because you are the almighty God. We glorify you. We magnify your almightiness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Thank you, almighty Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Now, commit today, prayer reign to his able end, that as we consider his mighty works, what he does, what he has done, what he's still going to do, that the almighty God himself, we make himself known in our midst today like never before, that there will be signs, there will be wonders, there will be miracles, there will be salvation, there will be settlements, there will be provisions in the life of people today like never before in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, we are here again to showcase your supremacy, to demonstrate what you have done, to the hearing of all across the globe, oh God. Magnify yourself one more time. Let there be salvation. Let there be healing. Thank you, Father God. At the end of it all, let only your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Daddy God, we are very proud of you. You are extremely wonderful. You have no comparison at all. We bless you for the great giving to us to have the knowledge of who you are and the measure you have redeemed to our lives. According to what we have read today, who is that one that can tell of all your miracles of signs and wonders? We know in part. We see in part. Even the little that we have been able to know, we can say that you are mighty. You are the almighty God. Take all glory. Take all honor. Take all adoration. Thank you for this hour. The hour of signs and wonders and miracles. Of salvation and deliverance. Oh, yes, Lord. As your children will pray, we know the prayers of the past, we can see how you've answered. That is why, why we are highly encouraged to be here again today because you will do my belly thing in our life one more time. Take all glory. Take all honor. At the end of it all today, let it be said that truly the Lord has met his own people and let only your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And let someone shout a resounding hallelujah. One more time, we want to sincerely appreciate our parents in the Lord. Daddy and Mommy Gio, we cannot but remember and all the time your commitment as to this particular prayer ring. Recently, when Daddy prayed for us on the platform, we can see the miracles that have been happening ever since. So we appreciate our parents for all your prayers over all of us, your children. To God be the glory, honor, and adoration. Today, as we consider his mighty acts, we will defy our meeting today into three parts. We are going to find out what the Lord is doing, what he has done, and what he's capable of doing is the Almighty. And from there, we will key into all the things that the Lord has done for others. Because whatever he has done for others, he can do for you also. So as we will be considering what he had done for others, 
we will permit you also to key into it. And you are going to discover that this God is almighty. I remember when Elijah left the mantle according to the word of God in Second King chapter 2. When he left the mantle, the Bible says, Elijah picked the mantle. And when he has, he also has, in other words, it might be mantle, might be water, water departed. He got the same result that is master God because he acted on what he saw. God performing the life of his master before the master uh, ascended into heaven. So today, we want to consider his mighty acts and we want to work on that one, dwell on it. Let me read another passage in the Bible. Psalm 145. Verse 4 to 5. Psalm 145. Verse 4 to 5. One generation shall pray thy work to another and shall declare thy mighty works. That means God doesn't stop and he has never stopped performing his wonders in a particular generation. As a particular generation we believe in, God moves to another generation and he began and he continued to perform his miracles. In other words, his signs and wonders has never stopped. This is God of continuity. This is God that is alive forever. To him be all glory. That is why verse 5 of that Psalm 145 says, verse 5 says, I will speak of thy glorious honor, of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. We will speak about it, we will declare it. We will make it known to all that our God is alive. That is the reason why Psalm 50, 150 verse 2 has said, Psalm 150 verse 2 says, Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. In other words, this God performs mighty things. It is our responsibility and our duty to praise him for that. And uh, thereafter, when we will praise him, we will now key into all what uh, we will read today that the Lord had done for others. We are not just going to focus attention on the Bible times also. We are talking about current one. Most of the testimony here, they are just one month old. Some of them one week old of the miracles and signs and wonders of the Almighty God in our own time. But when we get to Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, Revelation 12, 11, we discover the power of his testimonies, the power of his mighty acts, the power of his wonders there. There the Bible says, they overcame him, not that word the devil, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They apply two things to uh, win the battle over their enemy, the, the devil, Satan. They make use of the blood of the lamb and they make use of their testimony of the mighty end of the living God. I can't forget when David was right there before Goliath. He didn't uh, report Goliath to God. He reported, I mean, he, 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 just, he, he, he just told Goliath about his God. And that is all. He said, the same God that delivered me from that lion, that set me free from that particular bear, will deliver me also. He didn't look at his eyes because he had discovered the sight of the almighty God. And when we stand before our enemies and we remember what the Lord had done, the enemies trembles and they bow and God will arise to fight for us. Now, let's start by considering what we refer to as signs and wonders. And then we will praise him, then we came to it. Ade Ronke from Nigeria currently refers to us what he experienced in one of the highways here in our nation, Nigeria. It happened here in Nigeria. And I quote, on my way home, from the office on Tuesday, August 23, 
in the evening. I noticed I was running out of fuel in the car, but I just said the fuel will take me home if the road is free. Then I ran into heavy traffic, and there was no finish station in sight. My eye did not leave the fuel gauge, and I was almost becoming worried. I just whispered to myself, God of prayer rain, please refill my tank and let the fuel get me home. The traffic became very heavy, and I was like, and it was, it was like a snake movement. After a while, I started perceiving fuel around, and I wondering who was pouring fuel, or was it that a car around me was leaking fuel? But I saw nothing of sort. The traffic was still very thick. By the time I look at my fuel gauge, it has risen from where it was and went higher. It was at that point I realized God has come to fuel my tank. How can you explain that? <laughs> we are talking about God who performs miracles. Fuel was about to finish. All about perhaps below reserve. Panic. It was in the night. But she whispered to God, Lord, fuel my tank. I believe she just, she just said that one. But God heard. And God fuel the tank. What surprised me that she began to perceive the fuel. Ah, we are the fuel leaking. Then she looked at the fuel gauge. It has risen. That is what we call wonders. Miracles. I'm trusting the almighty God here today. That which no man can explain. Gloriously. Pleasantly. The Lord will begin to perform in your life in the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, stand on your feet right now. Say, Lord, I need your miracle. Perform your miracles in my life too. Let me begin to experience what is known as signs and wonders and miracles today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Lord, let me begin to experience your miracles. Your miracles, your signs and wonders. How could you explain? No more fuel inside the car. She began to perceive fuel, many of the fuel. So to say, looking around, where are the fuel leaking? For the unknown to her, the Lord has sent this angel to fuel the car. And by the time she look at the fuel gate, it has risen. Oh God, let your name be glorified. Perform your wonders in my life too. Your own may not be a fuel inside your car. It may be certain things that if God doesn't act, you will be put to shame or you'll be stranded. Ask God now to perform his miracles, his signs, his wonders in your life. This is our God, our living God. He's in charge of surprising his own people, of doing what no man can do. He can do it for you also. He can do it for you now. You need a miracle in your matrimonial home. You need a miracle in your business. You need a miracle in your career. You need a miracle in your destiny. You need a miracle in every certain aspect of your life. He can perform that miracle. Call upon me right now. It's a miracle working God. A miracle working God. Yes, Daddy God. Take all glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Let me read another signs and wonders. Uh, this particular testimony, they are just a few days old. We are not talking about yesterday years. We are not talking about the story of what we read somewhere. Miracles that they are just a few, few days old. Abandoning blessing, also from Nigeria, uh, testifies, I quote, my husband had a car accident that was aimed at claiming his life, but the Lord intervened. After the incident, he started having chest pain, and after the, ex the chest x-ray was carried out, it was discovered that he had broken rib, and he was referred to another hospital to see orthopedic surgeon. 
I encourage him to join me in connect with the prayer ring that God will do it. And he accepted. During one of the days, we connected to, this pla- to the platform toward the end of August. We are talking about just last month now. I dozed off. That is why I'm talking. And immediately I had a revelation. In that revelation, I saw two men. One in front, the second one following the four behind. And they were moving around all the houses of the people that connected to the platform. You know, as though television is showing this thing now, God knows those who are connected. And God is run those houses all over the world, watching how they will pray so that you will answer their prayer. This woman saw the revelation that connected to the platform that day. And I'm wondering, who are they? And I heard in my spirit, man, that God is the one moving around the houses of people that connected to answer their prayer. So I was eager to have him in my house. In my house, eventually he entered. And when he saw me lying down on my bed, he looked at me and passed by. But he was not leaving. He heard my husband's voice sitting and praying loud. He then came back and lay his two hands on his head. And immediately I woke up. Last week, my husband did another chest x-ray. Don't forget, they have been already been prepared for surgery because of that particular fracture of the rib. My, uh, my, my husband uh, did another uh, chest x-ray test. And the doctor told him that there's no more trace of any bone rib or fracture. You can see, the Lord entered into their house. And the one thing I just discovered there it is. The Lord saw the wife lying down on the bed. The Lord didn't attend to the wife at all. Many of us, when it's time to pray, we just try life to be in a very comfortable place, not in there. That is why sleep cuts out on them sometimes. God passed her by. Thank God the husband was praying. And God heard the voice of the husband. Then the Almighty God to lay his hand on the, on the husband. And that's how the miracle happens. Ha! By the special grace of God, before the end of today, the Lord will pay you a visit in your home. He will pay you a visit in your family. He will pay you a visit in your office. Wherever you are, stand on your feet right now and cry unto the Almighty God. Lord, you visited the home of this our sister, Sister Bodoni Blessing. Oh God, Attend to our case in our home too. Attend to our case in our nations too. Attend to our case in our destiny too. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Almighty God, attend to our case too. Attend to us. Perform your signs. Perform your wonders. Perform your miracles. Let God hear your voice right now. You heard that woman lying down the bed. God didn't attend to her, but the husband was praying loud. The almighty God attended to the husband in the same vein. Cry out now. Let the almighty God hear your voice. Bartomeu the blind cried out. They tried to silence him. He cried him all. That is when Jesus stood still. Almighty God, attend to me today. Attend to me today. Lay your hand on me today. Heal me today. Deliver me today. Set me free today. Rescue me today. Bless me today. Lift me up today. Open my eyes today. Almighty God, smile on me today. Almighty God, let every power darkness around me be banished today. Pray that prayer with all your heart. The Lord will attend to you right now. He's passing by. He's passing by. He's passing by. The past, all that we are doing right here on this platform is not in vain. The Lord is attending to his people. Almighty God, rescue me from my death. The death I owe. Rescue me. Rescue me from poverty. Rescue me from darkness. Rescue me from bondage. Rescue, rescue me, O oh Lord, from every form of captivity. We have found myself, O oh God. Rescue me. Rescue me. Rescue me. The Lord is here to rescue you. And his name will be glorified. Thank you, Father God, because it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. That is the Lord that we do serve. The Lord of miracles. The Lord of signs. The Lord of wonders. Now, let's break it into segments. 
Because when we are talking about miracles, the Almighty God has a way of meeting the need of a certain individual in their respective segment. Let's take marital of family crisis. And from there, we begin to consider what the Lord is doing in homes and in families. Let's take Ano Luapo, Mass FIFA, also from Nigeria. This testimony is just about uh, days old, it's not up to two months now. I quote My marriage was near collapse that I too didn't mind as I was tired of staying married, even though I have nothing to start my life all over with. It was torturing in all respect, and I lost hope praying or fellowshipping with God. Then, my brother, my elder brother, a pastor in RCCG, sent me in the RCCG link, and I joined in November 2021 and wrote about my marital problem in prayer pond, list after listening to testimony from women whose marriages too have been broken and God mended it. I couldn't even pray much, but just had a little faith that God who did theirs, I believe, can do mine. By December, things started turning gradually. And from December 31st, I mean December 31 to the first week of January 2022, all my husband all my was saying it to me is please let us allow, uh, let us not allow separation and quarrel again. That means presently, brethren, my husband so gentle in the way he relates with me, such happening only in our early years of relationship, for 11 years ago, I had lost hope in believing that I can be so nicely related with my husband the way he does now. The Lord answered that prayer and rescued that home from separation, from trouble. Ah, I don't know whether somebody is listening right now and you have discovered problem in your home. This is what the Lord is doing. We have looked, we have been, we are considering his mighty ends, his miracles, his wonders. I want you to key into this testimony right now. The Almighty God is there to attend to you also. Call upon him right now. Say, Almighty God, you attended to the family of this our sister, no Luapo. Almighty God, the marriage that was not uh, stable, the marriage that was, to, that, that was total mess. according to her right now, she said, and I quote, my marriage was near collapse. In other words, it was, uh, it was a total mess. It was, we were heading to a total separation and divorce, but the Lord intervened. Now, call upon the same God to come into your family, to come into your home, to settle your case also. Pray that prayer with all your heart that the Lord will settle your case in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the name of the Lord be glorified in your life, that the power of the Lord be manifested in your home, that your home will not scatter. Whatever, therefore, is the agent of misunderstanding, agent of crisis that ravaging your home, that the Lord will deal with you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That woman heard the testimony of others and she came to that testimony that if God can do it for others, he can do it for me. The same way the Lord is here right now to handle your case, to, uh, to, to attend to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Glory and honor and power and dominion to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now listen. You know, as you are praying, just the way we had the testimony of that sister, the Almighty God is attending to you in your various places, in your offices, in your home, wherever you are right now. Atenike from Nigeria also testify about marital issue. We are in the marital issue now. After this one, we are going to healings. Atenike said, I want to thank God that I finally married at 47. After a series of disappointment and marital delays. I read the matter to God on this altar. Now, 
I am settled maritally by his mercy. At 47, a lady, not a man, had been waiting. But one day, she lifted up her voice unto God. And she said, I am now settled maritally by his mercy. We are listening to this particular testimony right now. And you are worried about your marital life because of the age. The Lord who did it for this Adenike is ready to do it for you also. We are casting right now every spirit of delay. And marriage is in our homes. Wherever you are, either you are the mother of that lady, or you are that lady, you are directly affected, or you are sister of that lady, or you are friend of that lady, or you are a member of family of that lady, wherever you are, whoever, whatever your relationship with that lady, stand on your feet right now and call upon the Lord. Lord, in the life of this sister, mention the name of that fellow. If you know the name, in the life of this sister, Break the yoke of marital disappointment in the name of Jesus Christ. Set to a marital age in the name of Jesus Christ. This fellow got married at 47 and the Lord said to the uh, thereafter, I will pray right now. Who have been there? Who have been the delay in their marital issue? Set to them today. Set to them today. Visit home to God where all those sisters are who have been trusting you for life partner. Visit them today. Visit them today. Visit them today. Almighty God, visit them today. Eternal Rock of Egypt, visit them today. I am that I am. Visit them today. And set to them maritally. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. Honor be to your holy name. Adoration be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's go to another testimony. Charity. Testify from Saudi Arabia. It does a few days old testimony. He said, My sister called me that her husband had a girlfriend and I stopped caring for the family. I told her to give me some time. I then took the matter to the altar of Arusisigi prayer. Now, Three days after, she called me and said, the old man came back home to beg and reconcile with us. Ha! A sister sent a message, Auntie, this is what is happening at home. My husband has now been hijacked by another woman. He had no time for us any longer. And the woman right there, five went to Saudi Arabia, also connected to the prayer ring platform. Say, God, give me time. And that one presented the matter to Almighty God. Intervened their verse, oh God, of oh my sister. And three days, 72 hours only, after that particular prayer, the Lord intervened. The husband came back and began to apologize, began to beg the wife, and they reconciled. Ha, I don't know what you have noticed right there. It's not by power. It's not by mind. But by the spirit of the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Now report the case to the Lord. Right? What is that thing that is going on? That is all not to be. The Lord God himself can change all the situation for the better. We are reading this testimony to let you know that what you are passing through. Someone had passed through it before. And the almighty God has settled the matter. It is your time to have your matter settled. The crisis between you and your wife, the crisis between you and your husband. Maybe a strange woman is trying to separate or causing a lot of havoc in your family. The Lord God himself will intervene today and the Lord will settle the matter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, pray that prayer with all your heart. Thank you, Father God. Matone kasante re kasante. To re ka papa no kosode. Yiri katanta raba kosode. Papa ro kosode. Yikri katanta raba kosonde ba paroko tetere ba propa pre kasanda ya la roko totere kasanda taro koto to re kasin yure kapampara ba ho mara koto to re kasanti ya kro thank you father god glory be to your holy name in jesus name we pray amen and amen let's take more 
concerning marital issues of the wonders of God, how God has been settling home. Omale Yetunde testifies. I want to thank the Lord for answering prayers. She said, I thank the Almighty God for restoring love between me and my spouse. God removed those years of hatred and disappointment and disagreement between us. Let me read from up. I want to thank the Lord God of all gods for answering my prayers of restoring my marriage after some years of separation. These people, they had separated. But after some years of separation, some years of separation, the Lord restored them. And not only that, she said also, God has removed those years of hatred and disagreement between me and my husband. Also, I want to thank God for the reunion in the family between my in-laws and my parents and the provision of good, of, of good job for my husband and for us. No, the two, the two family also, they are fighting. They are separated. God brought the two families together just the way God brought the husband and wife together. In God, there is no hopeless situation. These people had already separated, not a year, for years, for some years. But when they cried to God, the Lord intervened. And the resultant effect of that one is what we have just read. Are you passing through a situation in your home and you yourself are referred to it as hopeless? In God, there's no hopeless situation. By the special grace of God, the Lord will refit in your home again. That scattered home will be brought together one more time. And the name of the Lord be glorified. I'm telling you from what we have read, from what we have observed, from what we have seen. The Lord God can amend your home. Call upon you right now. Just believe him that there's no hopeless situation between God. The Lord God, the man that has gone away, will come back. The husband, that, the, the wife that has passed away, will, be, will, will come back in the mighty name of Jesus. Testimonies abound. How the wife, husband will walk home, how the wife will pack a load and will come back to her matrimonial home because the Lord God is working wonders. Pray that prayer with all your heart and let the name of the Lord be glorified. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. I join my faith with your faith concerning all your prayers in your matrimonial home, in your families, and so on and so forth. I pray that as you have cried unto God today, the answer will come. And it will come speedily. Before the next episode or next edition of Prayer Rain platform, here on this platform, ah, you are coming with your testimonies to the glory of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Ha, now let's go to mighty works of God. It's miracles in the area of physical healings. This testimony I've told you, they are not months ago. They are just days or weeks. Most of them are not up to a month. Olufunke from Nigeria testified. One, more, one of my spiritual daughters was afflicted with a wound on her leg and the leg was to be amputated. When I heard about it, I brought the matter before the God and before God and lifted it on the altar of the prayer ring platform. To the glory of God, the wound is healed. She has started walking without the leg being amputated. She has even resumed work right now. Ah, ah. See God. The leg was to be amputated, but the Lord stepped in. The same woman is now walking with the leg because the Lord healed her. She has started, uh, she has resumed the work. Pray right now. Whatever is the nature of the healing that your family member of your family needs, all you need, are in need of that particular healing, the Lord God himself can change the situation around for the better. I'm trusting the Almighty God that the name of the Lord be glorified in your life that the power of the Lord be manifested in your life. Ah, that particular wound that refused to eat, 
the Lord God himself will release upon you the balm of Gilead, the healing power in the blood of Jesus. We heal your system now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You know, his mighty works are so many that we cannot uh, tell it all. But let us try to see whether we can have more. Sin know ye. Also testify, I quote, my son, who is going to be eight years, started bed wetting as he did. We thought that he would stop it at the age of two or three. But he did not. The worst part is that he sleeps so deeply to the extent that, or to the extent that the extent of sleepwalking. So I became so worried about that. I've been had so many testimonies of God's deliverance from bedwetting on the prayer platform. I added it to my request and believed God that who delivered those people will deliver my son. Brethren, God answered my prayers. My son is now free from that stigma of bedwetting to the glory of the Lord. You can see how God is performing his miracles. Eight years old bedwetting, the Lord put a stop to it. Let me just read one or two more testimonies on the healing so that we can pray on it together. Rose from United Kingdom testified. Rose from United Kingdom. I give God all praise for healing me. I had terrible lower uh, back pain. I couldn't walk properly. And when I see it, I found it very difficult to stand up. And when I manage to stand, it takes a while before I can, uh, I can stand straight. When we are asked to place our device wherever we are having pain, I placed mine with much difficulty because the pain was severe and it was difficult for me to lift up my hand position. I could not place the device. So as soon as I placed it, I felt a shock, like an electric shock. I thought the phone was on charge, but it was not. Hmm. Immediately, the miracle happened. I could I couldn't feel the pain again. To confirm it, I got up from the bed with ease and started dancing, something I couldn't do before, the prayer. And that was the end of the pain, that moment from today. Things that wanted to cripple my movement disappeared. They fellow have been having pain. Well, now that day, we are directed, whatever you are using in the platform, place it and have hope. The son shock her. Taking that the phone, the phone had been blocked. No. The Lord passed through that device to release the healing. And that is how the uh, problem ended. We can go on and on and on and on again. But what we are saying is this. The Lord of miracle, the Lord of signs, the Lord of wonder is still available today. Maybe all the miracles we have been reading, We've not touched your home. Let me give you a minute or so. Call upon the name of the Lord now that we touch you at the very point of your need, that we lay hand on you right now, that the name of the Lord be glorified in your life. Don't call upon him now. Call upon him now. Call upon the name of the Lord now. He's right there with you. He's standing by you right now. He's the almighty God, the king of glory, the Lord of law, the Lord who performs wonders. Call upon him, and very soon, I will join my faith with your faith. And you are going to discover that this God we are talking about is alive to today and is performing signs and wonders. Call upon him right now. Call upon him. Oh, yes, Lord. Ah, we have too many testimonies of how God bless businesses of people, careers of people. How, oh my God, the Lord is so wonderful, so marvelous, he's so excellent. This God is by your side right now. Call upon him, present to him now your own case, and he's ready to answer. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. Adoration be to your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' marvelous name, we pray. Amen and amen. We are about to pray now. But before we pray, you can see the mighty thing the almighty God is doing in our time. 
God of miracles, God of signs, God of wonder. And the people you've had who are giving testimonies here, they are human beings like you are. And God is saying, it is your turn too to testify. But there's a clause. If one does not belong to him, he might not be able to, I mean, to testify. That is why Isaiah 8, verse 20 says, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20 says, to the law and to the testimony. If you do not speak according to what is written in the book, because there's no light in you. And who is the light? The Lord Jesus Christ. So wherever you are, bow your head now and commit your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Suddenly you are going to see miracles begin to flow in your life. That is what the Lord has been waiting for. So call upon him now. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Lord Jesus, I submit myself to you right now. I commit my life to you right now. Save me. Let your blood cleanse my sins away. And suddenly you are going to discover the Lord is by your side now, touching your life, touching your destiny to the glory of his name. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. If you have done that one, we'd love to hear from you, please. And the end of this particular message, you will see all the contact address displayed on the screen. Make sure that you write us and we will respond immediately. We are there for you, every one of you. Lift up your hand right now as we pray. Oh, God of wonders, we want to thank you today for your wonderful work that you have wrought in the life of men. As we are lifting unto you our request, we know the testimony we have just read, there have been the request in the past that you turn to testimony. Let all the requests today also become testimony to the glory of your name. And by your grace, we will praise you again and again and again because you are the Lord God who is in charge of wonders, who is in charge of miracles, who is in charge of signs. Let your people be delivered. Let them be set free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah!